pipeline, you know, really has become the benchmark that all surfers are measured. Paddled out at Pop and on that pink banana and this wave was a revelation. Just compresses the spit in this big barrel and just, just... Bud Brown comes down with his camera and he says to me, you know, if you go out, I'll get you on film and you'll be the first woman to ever go out. And you just do things that you wouldn't normally do and that's how it was for me those days. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to get a win off Kelly, especially if it's quite massive. What do you do when your board's falling out from under you? You grab the rail, grab the wave, and pull the board into the wave. <laughs> Mike, this is what we have to do. We're going to go ahead and get some acid that can wrap it around your thumb. If you just pushed off and just grabbed this rail and just got pitted. It was the first time I've ever looked at a clock and I swear it went backwards. Okay, you know, this, this is this is, this is, this is is what we want here. The spirit of surfing just possessed me. The snapper pop, the board just fit. The original prototype was that Coral Cruiser back in 1970. And I remember Jerry Lopez paddling up to me with big eyes and going, are you okay? I'm getting carried up that beach. Probably one of the best feelings in the world, you know? And I turned to Andy and I said, Andy, aren't you glad you ordered that third 6'6"? Six, six? Kelly Slater, probably the greatest surfer of all time. 50 years later, and I go, Herbie, you know, how many of us are there that still surf pipe? And he's going, it's you and me, buddy, that's it.